Good morning everyone! Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Simrail. It's been a while chat. It's been a while since I last played Simrail. I will be honest with you. Yeah, I, I can't remember last time when I actually took one of the trains for a spin. But now it changes, okay? It changes today. We will remember today as the last day when I played Simrail. Uh, at least that that's going to be a situation for tomorrow. And, and what I'm going to do tomorrow morning is not yet set. But we are today, okay? Let's focus on today. So, what is the plan for today, you ask? Well, that is a good question. I don't know the answer to. Uh, but, okay, uh, there is a plan. Uh, I, I lied. Uh, th there is a plan. Uh, so, recent patch uh, that came out on Monday, I believe. Was it Monday, Tuesday? I, I think it was Monday or Tuesday. Uh, 22nd of, uh, of April. It's 25th. Okay, it was three days ago. Yeah, it was Monday. There we go. We, we now found the day. Right, so on Monday, uh, the game has been updated. Uh, there will... Well, there were multiple fixes. New signal boxes. And we'll get to that at some point. Although, catching a signal box that is free, if it's one of the new ones, uh, it's, it's very rare. For example, I still never had chance to catch a signal box at Dobrova uh, Gonczazomkowice, which was added in the previous patch. Uh, so you can imagine how hard it is to find those uh, signal boxes on one of the servers where people actually play on. Uh, so it will take a while before I will get a chance to hop into some of the new signal boxes and and give them a shot and um, but we'll try and do that at one point as well so the plan for today okay to, to not keep you waiting for too long is to first dive into single player and do at least part of et22 tutorial uh, which is another addition to the game however this is a part of paid dlc that you can buy and you can get brand new locomotive. And uh, that also comes with some rolling stock. And you can drive that both in single player and multiplayer. However, this locomotive is far more complicated than it looks. And there are a few additional steps that you need to take in order to turn it on or turn it off. And probably a few other steps that I might want to know before I dive into multiplayer when it comes to driving it. And that's why we will begin from single player. And this also means that since I will be in single player, at least at the beginning of the stream, I will be able to run Stream Raiders. However, Stream Raiders will be running at a very limited pace today. So, to all impatient raiders, I'm sorry, but the battles might need to wait to start. Or it might be so that I will prepare a battle and I won't be able to start it only until the very end of the stream. Oh, there we go. Why, why, would, you, why would you smack me with a snowball? Very rude. Very rude of you. Very rude. Very rude. Anyway, uh, good morning and welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today. Right. Right, chat. So, uh, let's hop into Stream Raiders and let's quickly... <laughs> you tripped. Uh, okay. I, uh, you pretend you tripped and I will pretend that you uh, that I believe you, okay? Yes, uh, good. <laughs> let's, let's both pretend. 
Uh, right, what's, what were we... Ah, yes, uh, Stream Riders. Okay, so, here we are. In Stream Raiders. And the very first battle that we will start today, which also might be the last battle that we will start today, is the boss battle. Chat. And so, very, very, very tough start. But I, I trust you, chat. I trust you. I, I, I know you can do it. Okay? I, I've seen great things. Okay, I will also deploy my paladin. And you know what, chat? Everyone can vibe. Okay? Yeah, we, we can have few defenders. Here. 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 And here. But the rest can vibe. Okay? And we do not vibe in here. That 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 that's not for vibers, okay? We we, we don't have a good vibes there. Uh, I, I I doubt you would have a good vibes in there to be honest, if 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 there are so many enemies and, and very little help. Uh but anyway, chat uh, that that's the plan. It is a perfect plan. It is my plan and therefore it is a perfect plan. And now the rest is on you, chat. You got 28 minutes to build an army. Now. Let's get back to business, shall we? Okay, as always, uh, Simrail is having a bit of a hiccups. Which may also cause my tiny avatar to, to crash. If that happens... I would recommend avoiding getting some redeemables that will change the trash and stuff, because I might turn that off. Uh, but, uh, streamer attack, yes, uh, viewer attack is, is fully, fully working and operational at all times. Right, anyway, uh, let's, let's jump into Train Driver. And now... Apart from custom scenarios that I installed very, very long time ago, and, and those are scenarios made by the community, and I haven't updated them ever since, and they probably are in desperate need of any uh, sort of updates, we won't touch that. Uh, the game features three areas at the moment. Katowice, Warszawa, or Katowice, Warsaw, which, which would be sounding more in English. Uh, which is the main line. Katowice Sędziszów. Which is basically a very long branch line. That goes to a completely different city. And training track. Uh, at the training track you can learn how to use ETCS. And we will do that at one point. There are two scenarios for that. Both of them take about 40-50 minutes uh, where the game step-by-step step introduces you to how to operate ETCS. And I can tell you I tried ETCS scenario level 1 and I failed it multiple times because the scenario design is so that if you mess up, the scenario ends and you have to repeat it from the get-go. Uh, this way, well, it is annoying, but if you pass it, then you know that you actually know your stuff. Uh, so that's one way to learn it. Keep trying, keep banging your head on, uh, at the wall until you bang through the wall. And, and that's basically how you need to approach those scenarios. Uh, keep trying, keep trying, keep trying, and eventually you will encounter probably most of possible situations and variations of what can happen while you drive with ETCS. Because the game actually introduces you to all those aspects. Uh, which is something I really enjoy about it. It shows you different situations. It tells you 
what you need to confirm and what you need to do. And uh, from from my perspective, uh, so far I've been really happy with that scenario, even though I failed it multiple times. Uh, but you need to fail it sometimes to understand how things work. Anyway. Today we will focus on Katowice, Warsaw. And there is a tutorial ET22, which is a brand new addition to the game. You can get it with DLC. Uh, I believe it's called Cargo Pack. Yeah, I, I think it's called Cargo Pack DLC. And then you can drive this beauty. It is mainly a freight locomotive. Although, as you can see, it doesn't look too bad. And therefore, it can be successfully used in a passenger service. And it's a very, very good and solid construction. Six axle. Very powerful. It can easily pull 3,000 tons. If not more, I, I, I think this thing can actually pull a little bit more than 3,000 tons. And it's a fantastic electric locomotive. And so I, I'm fairly sure it will be a great addition to the game. Uh, it comes in multiple liveries and and minor changes in, in variation. You can see that uh, like a box of, of the vehicle changes uh, in, in different variants of it. Uh, which is really nice. That's, that's a really nice variation. But it, on the inside, it's still the same vehicle. So today we will learn how to operate one. And then I will try and dive into multiplayer and, and drive one of the trains that is on the line. Uh, are we going to finish one of the multiplayer scenarios? Probably not, but we'll see. Anyway, let's hop in. Today you will run passenger train 4665 on the section Zawiercie Dąbrowa Górnicza Ząbkowice. You will use the ET22 to operate it. This tutorial will show you how to start and drive the vehicle. To enter the locomotive, approach it and click on the doors or press 1 on the keyboard. Right, chat. So and basically, it's exactly the same service as you run in every single other tutorial uh, basically they just changed the rolling stock and I hope that it will work and uh, this scenario had well variety of problems in the past but I'm fairly sure we can actually go through it open the door of the electrical cabinet I mean turn on the battery open the door of the electrical cabinet Wait, it's easier to close the door first. You could you could at least tell the player, hey, close the door. Now turn open. on the battery. Now we can turn on the battery, close the yes. Door of the electrical cabinet. It is time to enter the cabin. Use the key or press on the door. Turn the key clockwise to activate the cabin. Before acknowledging diligence system tests, Move reverser handle into forward or reverse position. Acknowledge Villigen system. Wow, differential yeah. relay breaker is active. Use differential relay breaker reset button. Differential relay breaker of auxiliary circuit is active. Use differential relay breaker reset button. Go to the pneumatic frame in the engine room A. Use the door behind the driver's seat. Okay, so we reset traction motors and we unlocked overlay relay converters and heating. But that's not all. We still need to raise the pantographs, do we? 
Go to the pneumatic frame in the engine room A. Use the door behind the driver's seat. Right. Go to the pneumatic frame in the ah, engine room the A. <laughs> Use the I forgot door there's behind another the door. driver's seat. There you go. Go to the pneumatic frame in the engine room A. Use the door behind the driver's seat. Close the valve in the main tank. Go to the pneumatic frame in the engine room A. Use the door behind the driver's seat. Close the valve in the main tank. Right, now that, that's electrical cabinet. You can see all the electrical circuits. Well, or whatever it's, it is supposed to be electrical circuits. Ah, there, th that's the valve. Okay, it, it's really hard to spot. So, main tank supply. Close we the need... valve of the pantograph's compressor. Go to the low voltage electrical cabinet in the engine room A. Oh my days. And, and now we need to go back to that cabinet. Go to the low voltage electrical cabinet in the engine room A. Switch on the compressor using a button on the right wall of the electrical cabinet. Close the door of the electrical cabinet. Switch on the compressor using a button on the right wall of the electrical cabinet. Wait for the pantograph's tank to fill. Switch on the compressor using a button on the right wall of the electrical cabinet. Wait for the pantograph's tank to fill. Oh, I, I forgot. It's a press and hold. Tankies, good morning. Welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today. Right, so basically we are now using a small compressor to fill up auxiliary tanks that will then allow us to raise the pantograph. Uh, yes, I am trying a new local. Right, I, I believe we need to wait until the compressor turns off. And that might take a while. It is time to enter the cabin. Use the key or press on the door. Ah, there we go. So it is now full and it's it shut itself off as you can hear. There is nothing happening when I press the button. So now we need to get back to the cabin. Rise the pantograph. We can now raise the pantographs. Uh, yeah, lower both pantographs. That's that's a brilliant idea. Uh, right, pantograph back. To enter the locomotive, approach it and click on the doors or press one on oh, the keyboard. Oh, so you want to tell me that that they Rise actually? Raise the pantograph. Hang on. Did, did they Rise actually? Raise the pantograph. Wait for the voltage to appear. To enter the they, they actually messed it up. It and uh, click on the doors or press one wh on the keyboard. Wh why, why would they raise a pantograph with the button that is supposed to lower both pantographs? Oh, this is a serious oversight. Enable the circuit breaker. Enable the circuit breaker. Main Enable switch. the circuit breaker. Oh, I see. You need to first... Wait. Oh, I see. Okay, so, so this is not like a flick switch uh, as, as it used to be. It, it's a toggle switch. So... And basically, you need to enable that and then raise one of the pantographs. Ah, I see. Right, enable converter. Compressor. Turn on the splitter of the radio telephone. It is located on the right-hand side of the cabin's rear wall. Turn on the power adapter of the radio telephone. Enable radio and set desired channel. Okay, turning on the radio is actually 
much more complicated. Okay. There we go. Main reservoir is almost full. Go to and the pneumatic frame in the engine room A. Use the door behind the driver's seat. Okay, now we need to, go to the pneumatic frame turn that the splitter. A. Use the door behind the driver's seat. Open the valve of the main tank. Open the valve of the pantograph's compressor. It is time to enter the cabin. Use the key or press on the door. There we go. Move the train brake handle into driving or charging position. Move the train brake handle into driving or charging position. Hold brake releaser button to charge the main line. Uh, brake releaser. There we go. Okay, that should be sufficient. Brakes should now technically be charging on their own, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. auxiliary brake pulling its handle towards yourself okay okay so so this one this one doesn't quite release itself automatically at similar levels as as it used to be in EU07. Right, uh, so we need... Headlights. Instrument lightning, because I like it. Cab lightning dimming, okay, overall lightning, SFP. Train heating, uh, we don't really need that. Uh, we can use standard passenger, current setting, train heating, train cabin heating, no we don't need that. Okay. Release handbrake using a handle on the left hand side of the cabin. Then we can release this handbrake. There we go. Use the call button on your radio telephone to confirm the readiness to the train. Okay, dispatcher. they actually now prompt you to set the shunting maneuver rather than uh, full drive maneuver. Okay, so they definitely fixed something. is ready. Thank you. Wait for signal. 
release auxiliary brake, pushing its handle forward. The closed line conductors move drive handle to the first position, successively increase position of the drive handle. The closed line conductors move drive handle to the first position. There we go. Well, we are already late, so we don't really need to worry about that. Chat, I have to admit that this is very loud. You can stop now. Pull train brake handle towards you to apply braking force. No, 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 we are stopping closer to the signal. Okay. Set the lighting for a train operation using the switches. Set the lighting for a train operation. Okay, so using so the they switches. definitely updated their tutorials. And now they also include setting correct lightning. And that is a definitely ready for the Did they just add it whistle? Train brake handle is in a braking position. Move train brake handle into driving They position. added whistle. To close line conductors, move drive handle to the first position. Successively increase position of the drive handle. Chat, they, they added whistle. That is a nice detail. I hope that whistle is also in multiplayer. So you don't have to use full UI. now on non-resistant position. This is appropriate position for long distance driving. You can also use the shunting handle to increase the power. Successively increase position of the drive handle. is now on non-resistant position. This is appropriate position for long distance driving. You can also use the shunting handle to increase the power. Right, chat. The main difference between this one and EU07 when you drive it is that you got three non-resistant positions. Successively increase position of the drive handle. And you need to remember that. Drive 
Endo is now on non-resistant position. This is appropriate position for long distance driving. You can also use the shunting handle to increase the power. There we go. Successively increase position of the drive handle. To close line conductors, move drive handle to the first position. Now nah, I know what I'm doing. Close line conductors, move drive handle to the first position. Stop harassing me. I know what I'm doing. I hope. Push train brake handle forward to decrease braking force. Decrease braking force. Train brake handle is in a braking position. Move train brake handle into driving position. line conductors move drive handle to the first position there we go well the tutorial forgot to tell you hey you need to slow down to appropriate speed instead of just constantly prompting me hey decrease the braking force no i i have to increase it because i need to slow the train down from 120 kilometers per hour to 40 because that's what the signal indicates uh, but okay i i let that minor issue slide chat it's it's a minor issue driving successively increase position of the drive handle drive handle is now on non-resistant position this is appropriate position for long distance driving you can also use the shunting handle to increase the power nah it's it's just repeated message of the same style it, it will make him sounds Successively increase position angry, of the drive even handle. though to close line conductors move drive handle to you the know first it's position. it's a pre-recorded message so you can't make it sound more angry unless you pre-record a message that sounds angry But I really like the sounds, chat. It's probably one of the very few games that really does sound right.
increase braking force. You can stop now. Okay, chat. Since we have stopped at the station, I can really quickly sort out the battle. So let's see if our brave warriors will be able to... Release accelerator brake, pushing its handle forward. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. We will hear tutorial in the background, I'm afraid. Oh my days. Chat, we made it, we made it. And I got 30 musketeer... ...scrolls. That is literally two level ups. That's nice, that's nice. Okay, we can start another battle, well, we can set up another battle. I can't guarantee when we can actually start it. There we go, and this time, what are we? Place three warriors. Yes, I, I shall place my warrior. And my warrior now will be here. There we go. And we can all vibe in... Let's all vibe in this square. And that's gonna be auxiliary vibing square. There we go. And the rest is on you, chat. I will try to attend to this battle in half an hour. However, there are no guarantees today. Right, let's get back to the tutorial. Brakes release. Conductors move drive handle to the first position. Successively increase position of the drive handle. Okay. Yeah, we are losing points for driving behind the schedule. Uh, that's perfectly fine. is now on non-resistant position. This is appropriate position for long distance driving. You can also use the shunting handle to increase the power. Okay. It doesn't matter to do, uh, on, on this scenario. So... We don't really need to be on time. Successively increase position of the drive handle. We can now let it coast, because we reached 40 km per hour. And there's also that neutral section above us. Increase position of the drive handle. Drive handle is now on non resistant position. This is appropriate position for long distance driving. You can also use the shunting handle to increase the power. Successively increase position of the drive handle. Drive handle is now on non resistant position. This is appropriate position for long distance driving. You can also use the shunting handle to increase the power. Successively increase position of the drive handle. Drive handle is now on non-resistant position. This is appropriate position for long distance driving. You can also use the shunting handle to increase the power. There we go. 
We don't really need to use heal chance. Because it's a light passenger train. It's only 280 tons. And that includes the mass of the locomotive. So we are basically pulling air. Okay, we are approaching the next station. And according to the timetable, train brake handle is in a braking position. Move train brake handle into driving position. Oh, I might have overshot a bit. Yeah, I definitely overshot that one. Right. Why why does it locomotive the shoe? Oh, yeah. So or press one on a keyboard. Okay, yeah, I, I overshot it a little bit, but why? Does it say that I'm supposed to stop, but it's not counting stop, or it's not saying that I overshot already? It technically should tell me that I overshot. Because... W4 marker... ...is here. So I was technically supposed to stop... ...head of the locomotive... ...before the marker. I obviously overshot by one car. Because I underestimated how slowly the train will stop. Uh, but it still doesn't say that I was even supposed to stop. And it thinks that I... Yeah, it is marked as a PH. But it's not a PH. Uh, our next stop is Dobrova Gornica Sikorka probably. Or Zomkovica. Yeah, it, it's probably going to be Zomkovica. Anyway. Let's assume we actually stop. Successively increase position of the drive handle. To close line conductors, move drive handle to the first position. Successively increase position of the drive handle. Right, L let's see if the game will tell me that I skipped this station, which it should do. Because I, I literally just passed the Ashoka. So, the next stop according to this timetable is gonna be Hrushobrut, which is just further down the road. Drive handle is now on non-resistant position. This is appropriate position for long distance driving. You can also use the shunting handle to increase the power. Successively increase position of the drive handle. Drive handle is now on non-resistant position. This is appropriate position for long distance driving. You can also use the shunting handle to increase the power. Yeah, definitely single player scenarios are not the best in position of the drive sim rail. Handle. Whoever is making those needs to pay more attention to details. is now on non-resistant position. This is appropriate position for long distance driving. You can also use the shunting handle to increase the power. There we go, and that is another station that is technically Hrushchobrut. Increase position of the drive handle. Train brake handle is in a braking position. Move train brake handle into driving position.
Close line conductors move drive handle to the first position. Train brake handle is in the braking position. Move train brake handle into driving position. Close line conductors move drive handle to the first position. Leaving train brake handle in the charging position for a long time may cause overcharging the main line. To close line conductors move drive handle to the first position. Train brake handle is in the braking position. Move train brake handle into driving position. There we go. To enter yes. the locomotive, approach it and click on the door. Ja or just press so that no on one says that I haven't stopped at Prusjobrut. Uh, Here we are. Obviously, once again, the game has an issue with uh, rendering the signs. This blue sign should say Prusjobrut, because that's effectively where we are. But it has not rendered. Move train brake handle into driving position. To close line conductors move drive handle to the first position. Successively increase position of the drive handle. Okay. Now technically the next stop is Dombrova Gornica Sikorka. You passed your brake point, uh, it's is now on non-resistant position. Okay, so this is appropriate position for long distance driving. You can also It thought that I'm supposed to, to stop at Khrushchevbrut, but I wasn't supposed to stop at Khrushchevbrut and then I was supposed to stop at Khrushchevbrut. Successively uh, increase position of the that's drive That's single player scenarios for you. Uh, they they are not perfect, but this one is not about following the timetable. Is now on non resistant position. This it's is about learning how to drive ET22. And I'm having power. a bit better understanding of how this locomotive works. And that's the most important part. Successively increase position of the drive handle. Drive handle is now on non resistant position. This is appropriate position for long distance driving. You can also use the shunting handle to increase the power. There we go. Move drive handle to zero position. Increase braking force. Okay. So now it is instructing me to increase braking force and stop the train. Braking force. Decrease braking force. Increase braking force. You can stop now. Increase braking force. That was close. Oh, and the passengers are actually boarding the train. That's nice. To enter the locomotive, approach it and click on the doors or press 1 on the keyboard. To close line conductors, move drive handle to the first position. 
excessively increase position of the drive handle. There we go. Yeah, it, it, if the stop is properly programmed and it works, it's really nice. I really like that whistle sound. And I hope they keep it in multiplayer. So at least you get that whistle when the train is ready to depart. Drive handle is now on non-resistant position. This is appropriate position for long distance driving. You can also use the shunting handle to increase the power. Successively increase position of the drive handle. Drive handle is now on non-resistant position. This is appropriate position for long distance driving. You can also use the shunting handle to increase the power. Successively increase position of the drive handle. Drive handle is now on non-resistant position. This is appropriate position for long distance driving. You can also use the shunting handle to increase the power. There we go. <laughs> yeah, he does mention that quite a lot. Move drive handle to zero position. Decrease braking force. Decrease braking force. Train brake handle is in a braking position. Move train brake handle into driving position. Decrease braking force. Decrease braking force. You can stop now. Increase braking force. Increase braking force. Move train brake handle into driving position. Ah, oh. right. So, ap apart from... Apart from constant repeats from... from the narrator... It, it was a really good scenario. Uh, obviously... Some places, as you can see, they are not officially on my timetable. So, it's only Zawiercie, Łazy, Dąbrowa Górnicza Sikorka and Dąbrowa Górnicza Zomkowice that are actually on my timetable. The remaining two that I actually stopped on, and I didn't have to, were not on the timetable. And from graph perspective, as you can see, my speed was pretty much spot on. Uh, always below the limit uh, with those two extra stops that we didn't really have to perform. So all in all, 
that was there we go Let, let's go back to main menu and let's not listen to that loud sound there we go all in all that was et22 and that was its tutorial it's not perfect but especially the initial part where the game guides you through start uh, startup procedure and uh, that is very important uh, because as you can see it is a little bit more complicated than starting EU07 uh, at least in the game because you got that extra step of charging the pantograph compressor and raising the pantographs uh, only after you charged uh, this well uh, the reservoir for it but again that extra step is is something that people will have to learn otherwise they they will get stuck in in various places they won't be able to raise the pantograph and they won't know what's going on or how to deal with the problem so yeah all in all i really like that I'd really like that. And uh, now all we need... Hmm, definitely we would need ET41 or ET42. Is it ET42? Yes, ET42 would be a nice addition to the game. Uh, it's another heavy freight locomotive. And it should be pretty much very similar to EU07 because it's basically based on it uh, but it, it's essentially like two EU07s connected together and made into one single locomotive and it, it can also pull heavy freight trains and, and it was quite extensively used in the past I, I don't think it's, it's used uh, till these days but you never know you never know and I think that would be a nice addition to the game uh, but obviously well since they already added cargo pack that would need to be a bit cheaper than ET22 I'm afraid <laughs> anyway speaking of uh, of the price of the DLC uh, so for this additional locomotive that adds extra complexity and obviously multiple new services in multiplayer a uh, few single player scenarios that are quite imperfect i hope that scenarios actual scenarios for uh, for the locomotive are much more polished than uh, than the tutorial which is a bit lacking in some places and and, and it has few errors all in all hmm, is it worth that 15 quid that i paid for it was it 15 quid it, it was around 15 quid yeah uh this, when it released it was also like 10 discounted by 10 percent and i think i i eventually paid around 15 16 quid for it uh so it wasn't too bad uh, for that kind of price I think yeah it, it's okay to pay for DLC that much if if it's quality stuff and obviously replayability is increased in this one because it is in multiplayer uh, speaking of multiplayer we will jump into multiplayer in a, in just a moment uh, I will try and catch a service that includes no, not, not Pendolino. Uh, that, that is something I will be moving on to later on. As I promised in the past, when they introduced ETCS, which they did, I will be looking into driving ED250. Uh, because right now it makes sense. Uh, but I first need to learn how to use ETCS. Uh... That is ET22, but that is heading... Oh, that is heading to Warsaw. No, 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 no. No.
No. No. Nine one. That's interesting. Right. I am trying to find. Uh, there's obviously a lot of EN 57s. EN 96. Nobody likes those. EP 08. EP 08. EN 76. E one A six. No, maybe one of the TMEs. No, oh, there we go. No, oh, that that's gonna finish in in just a second. And that's dragon. That's gonna finish in twenty minutes. Okay, let's try this one. It's gonna last for another hour or so. So this should be alright. Okay, let's quickly check timetable. So the train number is 629012. And this one is heading from Katowice. We are currently approaching Łazy. Heading through Zawiercie, Góra Wodowska, Psary. Okay, okay. Uh, the speed limit of this train is 75 kilometers per hour. So we need to remember that. It's 1,790 tons, 417 meters, and braking force is 64%. Oh, hold on. Oh, nice. Chat. That print button actually takes you to the PDF that you can download and print for yourself. There we go. Now I can... ...take control from... ...from the AI. I can turn on instrument lightning. We are on radio too. I like that that they actually added additional markers onto the Timetable. Oh. Oh, hang on. And now don't. I can't see. Uh, okay, the signal changed. We are transporting prefab panels.
Thank you very much, I will do my best. There we go. They are sending me straight to Gura Wodowska. In all honesty, they sent me on a pretty bad route for that. I, I know it's 80 right now, so... In about 500 meters I will be able to speed up. But I don't know how... How long it will last? Ah, oh, there we go. Battle is ready, chat, but I can't attend to it. go we are slowly trying to gain speed but this is a really heavy one Obviously, neutral section. We all love those.
There we go. Right, chat. While we are speeding up, I can quickly start the battle in Stream Raiders. Let's do this. In the meantime, I will focus on driving the train. There we go. Oh, there we go. See? Always some issues. Right, chat. I won't be starting a new battle. Because it's very difficult to... ...run it at the same time as I'm running... ...a train. So let's focus on driving train today. There we go. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I, I forgot to change the channel. There we go. Okay, a quick tap on the brakes. Let's have a look at timetable. So we passed Zawiercie. And now it's all the way to Knapówka. Yeah, and, 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 and that's... That's the end. It's not the most convenient. Speed to halt. By the way, quick verification whether they actually put the right speed in the timetable, because that says 75. And I have a feeling that... Oh no, I am doing actually 77 out of 75, so it is correct. But it's also very awkward speed to hold. And since this locomotive doesn't have any sort of cruise control... You can obviously imagine... Keeping... 1800 tons under control and perfectly within speed limits is not an easy task. Obviously it is a task that I should be able to achieve and through some practice we could probably do that. But it's definitely not an easy task.
There we go. Lovely jubbly. Okay, I, I am driving slightly slower than I should. Which is not a big deal. I am 32 minutes early. And this train goes... Well, it technically goes all the way to Warsaw. Who knows? We'll see how far we can go. It's a long route. And from what I can see... Oh, there is a player on Gura Vodovska. Which is good. go Oh, definitely driving that heavy train is something. In fact, we can... Oh, hang on. Uh, how do I turn off... Oh, there we go. I really wish they would add only this top part of the panel that I can turn on. I, I don't really need the timetable part because I got timetable here. So I technically know where I am. Uh, I am currently heading to Gura Vodovska. Channel R1. There we go. And then we are heading to Knapówka. Well, Sari and Knapówka. And that's where the scenario will probably end. But by the time we will get to Psari, that's that's gonna be a while. Because the route between Gura Vodovska and Psari is quite long. Anyway, to be honest, I would prefer to catch a freight train with ET-22 that is heading from St. Jisuf to Katowice. Because that is much more technical route. Okay, we went through a neutral section. Yeah, 
chat. I, I really love driving this one. That's the stuff. Oh, I, I completely missed that. Uh, Lonely June, thank you very much for headpads. Uh, I, I, I literally just noticed that, that you redeemed those. And it was a while ago. Yeah, definitely one of the main challenges in this train is to keep the speed within the limits. Just got to Gura Vodovska. Well, this locomotive is real pleasure to drive, I have to say that.
Okay. Now we will be driving down a hill. And unfortunately, this locomotive, as many others, doesn't have dynamic brake. So we will have to figure something out to slow the train down. go I have to say that in this patch they seem to have made some changes to the game's optimization And it's awesome. It really feels like the game is much better optimized than it used to be.
Ah, chat. Uh, I have to say that I missed it so much. I really missed it. Definitely I need to start playing more often. Because I've been really slacking lately. And that's 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 not nice. I spent a lot of time in other titles. And I left Simrail aside. But now I feel like I'm going through another renaissance of, of, of this game. It's, it's, it's really nice. And this update is really good. I have to say that so far I really enjoy it. Uh, I also really enjoy the DLC. ET22 is really nice. And lovely to drive. go let's quickly jump into external camera so I can grab a screenshot dear lord every single time every single time chat I, I'm trying to grab a screenshot And things are going sideways. Right, let's focus on driving. Because <laughs> it might end really bad. Also, I am speeding. And that's not good. We need to change that. timing of that stuff is always awful. There we go.
there we go there's a train up ahead or is it can't tell I don't know why chat, but I have a feeling that I'm slowing everyone down. We'll find out at Psari. if we will be stopped then that means there is someone trying to overtake me go we are getting very close to Psari I'm sure of it uh, what mile post is it uh, 33 31 and a half okay is it Oh, no, that's time. Uh, 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 kilometer. 224. Oh, it doesn't... It doesn't quite show the milepost for Psari. Oh, no, it, it does. 170.479. Okay. Techno Z, hello. Hello, I salute you too. Uh, the train is going really well. I am driving a brand new ET22 that came out on Monday. Okay, that's 186 and that's 170. Okay. 
So 16 kilometers away. That's how far we are. go This is a freight train. It's a freight train of a total mass of 1,790 tons, a total length of 417 meters. Oh, you can totally choose. You can totally choose it. Uh, you can basically choose any train that runs on, on this line at the moment. As long as there is no other player operating it. 
and there are a range of different services from commuter trains through passenger, express passenger, intercity, freight. You can find all sorts of stuff. There we go. Looks like we got a player at Psari. Uh, yes, it is a multiplayer. And players can be either train drivers or signalers. So some of the stations are actually signaled by players. Uh, yes, uh, well, the update was released on Monday. I just didn't have time to get to it. Five kilometers until Psari. Uh, today I'm hauling prefab panels. There we go. That's my cargo those prefabricated panels and that's that's the entire train with it
All right, chat. I will be stopping at Psari. I don't know for how long. But it appears I will be stopping there. Understood. There we go. Yeah, I just got confirmation. We will be stopping. Because there's another train behind me. And I'm rather slow for this line. So it is what it is, chat. It is what it is. Two and a half kilometers until the actual signaling post. No, I will be directed into the siding and the other train will continue on the main line.
Almost that shot. Yes, we will see the other train in a moment. And I will take that time to take a quick break and make myself a coffee.
All right, chat. I have returned. Ah, thank you for the head parts. Thank you very much. go Perfect. say it was passenger train that zipped by well that that was expected so our next destination is Knapówka and it's only 10 kilometers away from the previous post So it shouldn't take that long. And I think that's where the scenario ends. So... We will have to change the trains. Definitely I got a few speeding violations on this one. Because it's just too hard to keep this train within the speed limits. So that's something I will need to improve.
Yeah, that's why I need to improve my driving technique. <laughs> well, 75 kilometers per hour is maximum permitted speed for this train, so it's not going to be zooming. The line speed limit is 160 kilometers, if I remember correctly, so that's a completely different story. There we go, we got a train coming from opposite direction. And it's a player! It was probably petrol or some cap. Well, it was probably petrol uh, looking at uh, the logos on, on the wagons. I think it was like gas oil or something like that. There we go, we are moving on to a branch line, so the scenario will end really soon. Because that is not part of the game, I'm afraid.
There we go. And we have reached the end of this particular scenario. So we went only from Wazi to Knapówka and that took us 70 kilometers, which is about an hour at, at our current speed. Yes, uh, we, we've been doing around 70-ish kilometers per hour. Looking at the speed graph, there will be some violations here and there. Yes, uh, we have occasional dips above the speed limit of 75 kilometers per hour. There we go. Oh, oh my days. This, this graph is lagging so hard. <laughs> oh, and I got one driving mistake, and that was... Ah, I, I didn't set up the radio channel correctly at one point. I missed the sign for that. I eventually fixed that error shortly after. Okay, and, and, and that was our first trip in ET22 in multiplayer. There we go, let's allow the game to... Go back to menu. There we go. That's that's better. <laughs> I can even feel that my PC is running smoother now, you know? It's it's like even though I'm I'm wearing headphones, I could hear all the fans just toning down. There's it's like a jet engine, believe it or not. Yeah. When, when this game runs, uh, like graphic card runs like a jet engine. That's that. That's how much effort it needs to put to, to render this game. Right. Let's see if we can grab another service. And as I mentioned before, there is a range of services that we can grab. And uh, that is EU07. And uh, we are... Well, I, I want to focus on ET22 today. Uh, that's EU07. No, that's, that's not going to be a good train. That's EU07. That's EN57. That's a completely different story. That's another EN57. I'm not interested in those. That is not correct. Uh, yeah, it's really hard to find... Uh, let's see, cargo. Th that's all the cargo trains that we can drive, uh, but I I don't think we will find any ET-22 right now. Yeah. Oh, there, there we go. We, we got... This one from Zawiercie to Katowice. It's gonna take just over an hour. We can potentially finish it. So let's give it a shot. And this one will be much more technical uh, because route from Zawiercie to Katowice can be really rough at times. But it probably won't take us that long. We are heading from Myszkov. And this train literally just arrived. Oh, hang on. Uh, so let's allow AI to drive for a while. Uh, this one has a speed limit of 80. Uh, obviously, in many places, this train is limited to even less than that. At the final stretch of the route, it's only 50 kilometers per hour, so we need to pay attention to that 
Okay, I'm gonna take over in here. Okay, uh, instrument lightning, uh, that's great. We are on radio channel 2, which is correct. Okay, and now we are driving. This train is 1443 tons heavy. And it's 377 meters long. So it's a very short one. In the grand scheme of things. It is a very short one. Uh, let's see what we are hauling. Ah, we got those cargo containers. And it's about 70... Ah, okay. Uh, those are car parts, apparently. From Częstochowa to Tychy. Okay, we can... Turn that off. We know that our train is approximately 400 meters long. And 15... 100 tons heavy. Track speed limit is 80. Well, for us at least. That's all we need to know. In fact, what I could do is... There we go. And we can also get... This kind of screenshot... Will be useful to have one for the thumbnail. Precisely. Every screenshot is a fine screenshot. There we go.
Okay, we have to slow down because the next signal will limit our speed. Although this one looks more like a... Oh, okay, yeah, it is 40. This gantry is very confusing. But yes, there is 40 and then maximum permitted speed. Well, you pick up another train to drive and that train is on its own timetable and it might be in a completely different part of the route. So you don't effectively drive the same locomotive uh, as per se. Uh, it's basically you pick up this like, a, you know, like you would pick up a scenario in a single player. Uh, basically when the train reaches its final destination on the track it just disappears and the new service pops up in its place if it's scheduled Yes, but you are not effectively dropping a load. Uh, there is no loading and unloading operations in this game. There we go, that's another freight train. Thank you very much. There we go. This is a slow speed track, so I'm not gonna even try and speed up. Anywhere past 40 because I will be limited to 40. So basically now we are heading in the opposite direction. The previous scenario started shortly before reaching this point and I've been on the same track as this passenger train. But now we are heading to Katowice. Probably, yes. That's the player's nickname. Score 
1120, you're clear to depart. <laughs> you can also be a sheriff, I guess. Thank you very much, Wazi. We are slightly late, but for a freight train, that's not a problem. And we will probably catch further delays. go as always there is a lot of traffic in there
There we go. Very busy area. Seven. I'm gonna have you hold up here to allow the passenger to get ahead of you. Well, it's not quite code name, but yes, each train has its own number. So very often dispatchers will use four, five or six digit number to address specific train. So my train number is 441045. Yeah. Oops, I, I, I went above the speed limit. I forgot there is 20 section on this truck and I completely missed the sign. Ah, uh, that's what I get for not traveling on this track too often.
I wonder if that's actually indicated on... No, it's, it's not indicated here. It's a temporary speed limit. Okay, four four one zero four five. I got exit to Dombrava Gorinca Zamkovica. Please hold up next signal. Go crossing the passing traffic. Ah, uh, there's another twenty coming. Now I notice the sign. We should be clear to go back to maximum speed. That should be 80. Is it? Oh no. There's a short section of 70 and we are still on it. 285381. Um, can't 
see uh, 5.8. I can't see mileposts. Radio two. Oh, th there's gonna be a short section of radio three. Okay. Had a wheel slip. Well, yes, it is a serious problem, so you don't want to do that. Obviously, it happens every now and then, especially with the heavy freight trains. There we go, now we are zooming.
Lovely. There we go, we are now passing through Dombrowa Gornicza Zomkowice. We need to be very careful because speed limit is supposed to drop around here. I can't quite remember where. It's been a while since I've driven over these trucks. That's a hundred. Okay, green signal. Now we need to spot those speed limits. Ooh, some of those new wagons. Am I on radio? Yeah, I'm on radio 3. Signal is green.
Oh, okay, it should be 80 all the way. Oh, okay, speed limit is going down to 110, which doesn't really affect me because my train is limited to 80 anyway. Okay. to slow down because the next signal will limit our speed to 40.
Well, I went a little bit too far with the brakes. But we'll be fine. This is very, very unfortunate, chat. Yeah, the servers are restarting at 12 o'clock. Oh. Oh, this, this is absolute garbage. Right. I was... Yeah, I, I, I was hoping to get to Katowice. Uh, I believe that would be the station where we finish. So we still got a few checkpoints. Julius, Sosnowiec, Dańdówka, Stawiska, Katowice, Janów, and Katowice, Muchowiec, uh, KMB. I, I think Stasic, no, we would be passing next to Stasic, but uh, that's that's where scenario would eventually end. Uh, so we covered only 40 kilometers. It took us 47 minutes and 5 seconds. And then obviously the server decided to restart. Uh, well, I guess it it will be a good signal to wrap things up for today, uh, because I need to go to work later. I really wanted to finish this scenario, but uh, as you can see, yeah, the, the game just restarts the servers every now and then. Which is a sad reality, you need to keep track of when servers are supposed to restart, and I completely forgot to do that. I think they restart once every uh, eight hours or something like that. So uh, some services occasionally get uh, interrupted. Uh, so in general, uh, we've been doing great. Uh, I made a little boo-boo in here uh, on, on 20 km per hour speed limit. I missed the sign and I only noticed that when game started to tank my score. I managed to slow down to appropriate speed only after reaching half of that uh, speed limit section. So that's definitely something I need to improve and pay more attention to trackside uh, signage. Uh, on the contrary, later on I managed to fix my issue uh, with with the speeds. Uh, okay, in, in this section I, I sped up a little bit too quickly. Uh, but then I brought my speed back down to 20. So yeah, th that's one kilometer per hour. And it's when the train speed escaped a little bit. I started to actually speeding up way after that section, which is good. And yeah, basically, uh, chats, the speed graph is a perfect way uh, for you to monitor how well you've been doing with keeping the speed limits which is very important on the railways it's even more important than on the road uh, when you are traveling on uh, on the roads with regular cars if you exceed the speed limit by one mile an hour or by one kilometer per hour nobody will be bothered by that uh, it happens to everyone especially on uh, especially to the drivers on the road uh, but on the railways, uh, yeah, the goal is to keep within the speed limits and under the speed limits, not above the speed limits. So those tiny infractions is something I need to work on. 
and keep that speed, uh, speed graph under required speed. And that is something I will need to work on. Anyway, apart from that, all other operations were done correctly. So driving through checkpoints, uh, that's not something you can actually change. That depends mostly on dispatchers. Uh, but sounding a horn at the correct times, uh, that's spot on from what I can see. Uh, and switching to correct radio channels. There we go. That's That's another point for that so all in all we managed to earn 2664 experience for that not that it really matters because levels in this game doesn't really matter it's just for you to flex how good you are or how experienced you are mine is currently at 68 which means that i've driven quite a few miles kilometers so right, chat, uh, that is what the game has to offer in the new DLC. Uh, I, let me just have a quick look whether there is anything else to look at. Uh, that's EN76. Uh, obviously, in single player, you can gain achievements i think there are four achievements in the game uh, one of them is really painful to get but if you get it then congratulations it requires you to arrive on time and depart on time from each and every station or checkpoint and it's really difficult to do especially in some of the scenarios uh, another route katowice senjishov uh, i will try and get some freight service at some point but in multiplayer I, I don't really want to do single player however i might try this scenario uh, et22 cargo coal mine operations uh, which involves shunting uh, so that might be interesting scenario to do at some point and I believe it takes you from Katowice Stasic to Wazir. So it's it's interesting route. It's not particularly long. Uh, but you have to do some switching and shunting. And that would be really, really nice thing to do. Uh, that is just a driving train. Uh, that is from Katowice to Senjishov. 107 kilometer long route this is only 70 so yeah there are some interesting scenarios here hopefully those three that come with uh with the dlc will be real 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 good uh, apart from that we can visit a depot uh, i haven't been here for a while but in the depot, we can see entire rolling stock from the game, uh, ranging from locomotives, electric multiple units. We got quite a few. Uh, ED250, which is Pendolino, in intercity livery, which is a mix of, well, silver and blue. Uh, obviously, two variants of EN71. Those are really nice to drive. I, I really enjoy those. Uh, many variants of EN57. As you can see, there is an absolute ton of them. I haven't really seen them on the tracks yet. At least some of them. And I can see some of them actually have mirrors. Some of them don't. I really like the ones that, that actually have mirrors. Unfortunately, in some cases that is not the case. You can always check the information about specific units. Uh, actually, developers managed to 
get a little bit of a description that gives you historical insight into the unit. Uh, then you got quite extensive technical data uh, that you can read, uh, read and and learn if you want to learn something new about each specific unit. Uh, there is also a sneak peek to upcoming uh, 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 steam locomotive. Uh, I believe you've seen that on some YouTube channels. Uh, that is coming into the game. It is currently available only in depot. But there will be a scenario for it in a single player and I will be happy to feature that because I am really looking forward to drive steam locomotive in Simrail. There we go. So we will be able to drive this beauty at some point. Before anyone asks, yes, it is basically a German locomotive. Well, it, it's been done for uh, Polish railways. I believe it was even done in one of the Polish factories. So there are a few elements that changed between original design and this design. But uh, in general, yes, it is good old German steam locomotive. Can't remember which model that was. Uh, but we will be able to drive that at some point. Uh, we got some new freight wagons. Uh, I can't remember. Oh, yes. Uh, those 441Vs. We've seen that on one of the trains that, uh, that passed us. So those are... Fawn's hoppers, basically. nice old cars well old this one is in old livery this one is in peca -pe cargo livery and that's not not so good looking blue color i'm not fan of those although well there they are uh, not sure 424 z uh, those cars were in since uh, since the beginning uh, 408 s uh, those cars were added in free DLC a uh, few months after uh, initial release of, of Early Access. Uh, those cars were in for a very long time. I actually never seen that livery on the tracks. Or I, I don't really see that too often. Uh, it's mostly blue. Uh, brown and well that gray one I, I've never seen that one to be honest uh, 406 RB uh, we've seen those cars uh, passing us at one point so that's a tanker and there are different other tankers I think we've seen this one, to be specific. Yes. It, it had this logo, so it's a burnable material. It's basically fuel. There we go. Uh, I'm not sure... Uh, uh, Four axle tank wagon designed for transport of oil products. It can carry 57 tons of liquid with capacity of 61 cubic meters. 61 cubic meters. Is it is it only 61 cubic meters? Okay. Tank seats on saddles and it's strapped by two steel belts attached to the frame with set of Roman screws. It's filled uh, by hatch on top and drained by uh, valves on both sides. It's equipped with steam heating system not present in 406 RB variant. So there you go. That's the reason. And this one has heating system 
and 406 rb doesn't have heating system so depending on what material you are or what substance you are transporting different wagons will be used okay and that's basically it for today chat yes uh, we we will wrap things up oh ad break oh my days well i, I hope too many people didn't get uh, the ads uh do we have anything else passenger cars i i don't think there are any new passenger cars out there no, that, that's a restaurant car. The 90, no, that, that's actually standard second class cars. And B91, those are another, oh, first and second class. Okay. There we go. We can actually read a little bit of a history of, of that. There are different variants of those. With the most modern one painted in intercity livery there we go it's basically still the same wagon and 111a which is standard second class wagon that's the oldest version of it that's the newest version of it it's still basically the same car They all support different speed limits, with the oldest one supporting only 120 kilometers per hour. So depending on which car you are pulling, you might be required to limit your speed. Okay, yeah. I really wish they will add editor at one point, so we will be able to dive into that and easily create some services and then make some scenarios i i would love to do that and that that would be very interesting anyway chat for today that is it i need to wrap things up uh, i will be back tomorrow with some more morning coffee with admiral uh, i'm not sure what content i will be streaming it might be sim rail it might be workers and resources i don't think it will be railroader uh, but definitely it will be a choice between sim rail or workers and resources very likely workers and resources because today we've left uh, stream raiders on the side and they had no chance to enjoy today's stream uh, as you could see I i've only run like two battles and, and then we had to wrap things up and I haven't started another one, did I? Uh, let me just quickly double check it. No, I, I didn't start another battle. Okay, good, 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 good. Right, chat, you know the drill. Uh, share, follow, like, subscribe. And don't forget to join my Discord server where you can discuss your adventures in Simrail and various other titles that I play or you might be playing. Uh, you can also meet other of my fans and uh, people who are associated with this channel and have quite similar interests to you, uh, very likely. Because if, if people are following my channel, they usually share similar interests at one point or another. Uh, so you might find something for yourself. Uh, that's also the place where I announce any events that I organize with my community, like uh, open server gameplays and, and stuff like that we we do that from time to time uh, we we did that in the past with uh, railroads online i do that every time with railroader 
And obviously when I play Simrail in multiplayer, people can join and play together. Obviously I, I don't really sit on Discord when I play Simrail, but yeah, we, we, we can eventually arrange that at some point. We'll see, we'll see. Anyway, yeah. Uh, YouTube uh, viewers, well, you also know the drill. Uh, share, like, follow, subscribe, and, and do all sorts of stuff. All the links and social media directions uh, are in the description of the video. And, well, I'll catch you next time. Uh, by the way, uh, since we are streaming, I might check if there is anyone who raids. No. As always, no one from my list is actually streaming anything like that uh, let's let's quickly check uh, 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 how am i supposed to do that uh, can i oh, how, how do i check the category oh my days what why is it always so hard to check the category on twitch Which obviously I, 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 I don't need that. Um, bros, uh, can I just find? Of course. Like, recom recommended categories for me doesn't even include Simrail. Uh, so now I would need to check whether there's someone. There we go, let's, let's see. Uh, uh, okay, uh, I doubt you guys want to join a streamer who speaks French. Uh, so, I, I'm not going to torture you. Uh, there is only one other streamer who, who does Simrail right now, and I can't be sure whether that person streams in English. So, dropping on them with English-speaking audience while, while, while they are speaking French doesn't quite work. Right, anyway, chat. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.